What's up? Yo, what's up, world? What's up, online world? Uh, how y'all doing? Hope everybody's doing well today. Again, hope everybody's doing well. This is your man D-Had, this is your boy Dan. Uh, today we're going to... I have no clue what I'm going to work on, to be honest with you. Kind of just... I had a few ideas, maybe create a beat, or... Maybe go back to some old projects. I don't know, maybe I just want to do some, like... Pads. I'm going to start with some cool, eerie, maybe some cool vibe pads. Go from there. Hey, if you're new... Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you go uh, check out all my other contents, all my other social medias. D had. That's pretty much it. D had, and there's D- you'll see them down below right there. Um, let's get to it, man. Let me resize this up. All right. Put my glasses on. Just make some sounds. <laughs> Just move these around. Let's just start adding sounds. Let's just go for it, bro. All right. Um, I watched this thing. Oh, God. Was it Mike Williams? He posted something on YouTube. Uh, EDM guy. He no, it wasn't. Um, was did I read it? I read something where if you're gonna work on like when you're working on your tracks, work on that that one element that really makes the whole track. So if I want this to be a very pad like sound, I guess focus on this the the pad. So make the pad as big as you can. Um, so many different ways you could multiply it multiply it you well yeah you could uh layer it um you could process it with compressors eqs different plugins all, all that good genre stuff um so let's uh let's just do that i'm just gonna layer it maybe get the sound a bit right get the timber right go from there <laughs>
as soon as I put this plug in, I heard the bass come in. See, so you, you can hear it here already. Check it. So I'm getting close to the sound I want. I feel like there's a sound in here that needs to go away. Pressure right away. The sausage fatteners just, uh, they've created a good algorithm, which means that's how they make the plug out. Just, just gonna compress the shit out of it. Let's add a base. Nope. Just keep it. Let's just keep it all on Synth Master for now. You never know what will happen in the future. Let's just get into it, eh? Here, I'm just going to add a bass.
There's the idea. Alright, um... I'm going to use the analog. This is what I want. I guess I just want to see if this is right. Oh boy, is that quiet? Oh, should be good. Yeah, buddy. So what we're gonna do... I'm just testing my sounds real quick. Give me a second. Alright, we in there. Um, so from here... go with this but I like this a lot of buttons right now. What did I say in the beginning? Focus on the chords. Sounds alright. I think there's some 
glue it, right? Supposedly there's this thing to glue. That's good to use. But... Seems kind of trippy. EQ is... So that, oh. Alright, that sounds pretty cool. I have an idea. I want to see if it works. Um, if I drag this into this new granular. You know, recently this granular word has been popping up in my life. I don't know why. Um I figured let's uh use it. Now I, I saw it on this a uh, YouTube video. That's where I spent a lot of my time. Man, why isn't it working? Come on, man. Alright, let's do this. Export. Um, put it to the thing. I was thinking where I'm going to put this, but I have to go through all my projects here. Um, what is this? 90 chords. 80s ish. It is in the music file. So, let's delete it, delete, uh, let's just mute these, let's go to it, and let's find it, let's find the, we must find the file, we must find it, there it is, oh, alright, well, let's see if it drags, granular, boom, works, there it is, there we got it. Alright, so I'm just going to kind of play around here, see what happens. Okay, F1. Filter 1.
All right, what if I did this? Whoa. Hello. There's almost All right. Um save pad work. So I'm going to look up what granular is. Just to read up a little bit. Um 20 6 is the 20th. 20 pad work. Pad work. So I'm trying to come up with a name for the studio here. And I don't know what to name it. I want like something cool that you put on like the walls. Or just like something at the door. Like the sanctuary or the 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 pfft. I don't even know. I think I'm on 39. Uh, layering pads. I guess I'll call it that. I think I'm on 40. I hit 40. 40 videos. Let's, uh, Let's check. 39. All right. Hit 40. There it is. Layering pads. All right. Let's check it out. Oh. Internet. Pad. Nope. What am I doing? Oh, granular. Granular. Music. To see what comes up. Granular synthesis. Synthesize. It's a basic sound synthesized method that operates on a micro sound time scale. It is based on the same principle as sampling. However, the samples are not, a not played back conventionally, but instead split into small pieces of around 1 to 50 ms. Milliseconds. These small pieces are called grains. Oh. So that's cool. That's fucking neato, man. That's like super sick, bro. Grains are selected from source waveforms. Envelope. Each grain is amplitude enveloped to eliminate clicking artifacts. Uh, summation. A large number of grains drawn from a number of sources are then summed to produce the output. Drawn by a number of source O. Hmm. Very interesting. Very, very interesting. Let's go back here. Let's just research a little bit more. Let's go to the wink, man. The composer, Ian Agzagus. It's the first exploited compositional theory of s for grains of sound. He began by adapting the following lemma. 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 All sound, even continuous musical variation, is conceived as an assemblage of large number of elementary sounds adequately disposed in time. In the attack, body and decline of a complex sound, thousands of pure sounds appear in more or less short interval of time. Triangle T. <laughs> Created grinding the sounds using analog tone generators and tape splicing. These appear in a composition analog AB for string, orchestra, and tape. I'm not going to lie. I have no clue what I just read. <laughs> I could go back and I just, what? 
There's a basic sound synthesis method that operates on microsound. All right, here's microsound again. We're going to look up microsound. Microsound includes all sounds on time scale shorter than musical notes, the sound object time scale, and longer than the sample time scale. Specifically, this is a short more than one tenth of a second longer than 10 milliseconds, which includes part of the audio frequency range as well. All right, so I'm kind of getting it. Let's look this up. How to learn granular synthesis. Oh boy. I don't know if I'm allowed to show this. I'm going to show it. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. I mean, I'm playing this live, so I should be Gucci. So what that means is, no, nothing has changed at all, it's just like, all of the IQ is now quantized to audio, and what that How? Means, all of these markers and this match of the bit, so here's an example of a channel wall, which isn't on a bit, so when I quantize the audio, all the markers switch, uh, or kind of move to those different issues with these time scales, and it's actually, it's a journal. Do you hear rain in their background? I feel like there's rain on top of them. Just listen. I think it's rain. <laughs> How so, guy? Oh, wait. So I think I get it. Every time that I am using time flex and I'm moving sounds, I'm creating a granular synthesis to it so a granular synthesis sound to that raw sound right i'm granularly synthesizing i don't know it's, it's starting to make sense to me let's see let's learn wait he's pressing buttons i want to know what he's doing How the fuck do you do that? I don't think it's rain. It might be rain in the background. That's what I'm paying attention to. This is why I didn't go to school. And this is why I don't like to learn in uh, this format. Sitting down and actually wanting to learn something. It drives me crazy. It's okay though. We're going to learn. I want to know the final product. What is he doing here? Okay, so he's... Yeah, we'll find lots of... Wait. I'm going backwards. If anybody knows, wants to care or no. Alright, whatever. Bouncing in place, bouncing is bouncing. Bounce, 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 bounce. Yeah. 
Man, he's doing all these key things. I want to learn. Just a little bit. Oh, God. All right. That's almost like what Han Solo synthesize. Grand. No, I don't care about that. Um. So there was a Red Bull thing I watched with him. Uh, San Holo. Holo. Let's listen to him. Um, he kind of creates his music in a granular way. Drags things out. He creates it from ambiance. He's one of those people who like to work in, uh, work in just audio, not necessarily MIDI all the time. Because everybody does that. Uh-oh. I'm be frozen. Okay, let's hear it up. Damn. While we're listening to this, I want to look up why the fuck there's a latency or Let's see. The coder. Here we go. Force streaming service. That's what I need to do. Maybe not, maybe. I'm just changing the settings here in um OBS. Uh 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 ah uh, ah uh. and force. I gotta fix this screen. Oh look at that. Uh oh. Uh, fuck. OK. 
Okay. All right, I'm going to end this right quick just because so I can change these settings up. I'm going to end the video here. I'm going to stream live again. I'm just going to create this video here. Hey, I love you guys. Thank you guys for stopping by. Uh, subscribe, like, comment. Tell everybody, share this, please. Let's uh, let's build a community. Let's build a family here. That's what we're all about, man. We're all about spreading love, sharing ideas, collaborating, and just being there for one another. That's what we have to do, man. All right, love you guys.